welcome to a new video. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and in this video I am painting three butterflies. Before starting the tutorial I'm going to quickly go over the materials. I am using my Winsor & Newton watercolour brushes, my Montmartre watercolour set, my medium sized Chinese brushes, my Canson 300 GSM mixed media sketchbook, and black ink. So the first thing I did was to separate my page into three even sections so that I had a guide on how large I should paint my three butterflies with them more or less not too squished on one side. I did draw a center line down the middle as I was thinking of painting symmetrical butterflies but after sketching out the first one, I didn't like how stiff and unnatural I had drawn it, so I changed my mind. I drew them how I saw them in my reference photos, making slight tweaks to how I preferred them to look. When using reference photos for this painting, I chose ones that I was drawn to the colours as this was what I wanted to stand out the most. If you are feeling more confident then you can choose a more difficult butterfly wing pattern but ultimately you can make adjustments and simplify the pattern as long as you do a similar pattern to both of the wings. So take your time to do the outline of the wings, don't overthink it and simplify the shape to make it easier for you. Right, so once I drew out my outline and I was happy with it, I started adding the main colours for each of the butterflies. The first butterfly is a red admiral, second is a green swallowtail, and the last butterfly was a blue mortho. For the red admiral, I started with painting the middle of the butterfly with a bright orange. This is because although the orange can be seen in the middle sections of the upper and lower part of the wings, the middle has a black orange colour and so blocking in this middle section will help to create a base layer. I also left areas at the bottom white for the white bumps at the bottom of the wing. The top area doesn't have to be painted neatly as it will be covered with the black ink. And make sure to leave the top part as the bare page as this will be a different colour. It was meant to be white but I painted it purple because I love purple and couldn't stop myself. The next two butterflies are easier, so with the green swallowtail I pre-wet the page so that the colours could blend nicely, so I used clean water to wet one wing. The more jagged edge doesn't need to be painted as neatly, but do wet the page close to the jagged pencil line. Make sure that the page is thoroughly wet, but without any puddles. Then you can add your greens. I used a slightly more blue viridian green and a light green mixed with lemon yellow. I painted the area near the jagged edge with the light green and then the viridian green for the rest of the wing and along the edge of the wing. Then you can do the same for the other wing. I did one wing at a time so that the water would not dry up before I added my paint. For the blue morpho, I drew the outline of where the blue sections of the wing would be, so I pre-wet the areas that I needed to be blue, then I added a light blue to the entire wing, and then I added a slightly darker blue to the edges and a few dots in the center of the wing. Then, because I wanted to, I added purple as well to some of the edges and made loose lines in the center of the wing to suggest the wing veins. And then I did the same for the other wing. Once I had finished the base of the blue morpho, I added dark orange dots to the lower section of the wings. 
Then I went back to the Red Admiral. So looking at the Red Admiral reference photo, you'll notice there are white dots, but I decided I wanted them purple. I used my reference photo to guide me on painting these splodges with one larger splodge and smaller ones dotted around them. I forgot the larger dot on the right wing but I realised later and painted it in. Ok, the next thing I did was to paint the middle black section between the four orange stripes. You can start this step once the orange is completely dry. I used my smaller round 5 a Winsor & Newton brush to create the edge of this section. Thoroughly wet this area with clean-ish water, not brushing too hard, and add ink to the edge of this section. Letting it bleed, and add less ink first, and then slowly add more if you want the ink to bleed more. I did the same for the right wing, but added more orange paint in the middle where the ink did not bleed. Then I went on to painting the black sections on the top part of the Red Admiral. Again using my smaller round 5 brush, firstly creating the jagged edge slightly on top of the orange to form a crisp edge. Painting the outline of the area that I needed to be black and then filling it in. And carefully painting in the outline around the white bumps on the edge of the wing on the lower side. And the dots on the bottom of the wing. And then I did this for the left side. Preferably start with the left wing and then the right if you are right handed. And if you are left handed then start with the right then to the left. To try and prevent the likelihood of smudging the ink. I kept forgetting this but thankfully there wasn't any major accidents. Then I painted the body of the butterfly, antennas, and the outline of the butterfly. For the thin lines I used my thinner size 3 round brush. And now I'm realising I forgot to outline the white bumps on the left bottom or hind wing. Oh wells. On to the green swallow tail. Make sure the first green layer is completely dry and then use ink to paint the edge black. Leaving small semicircles so that the green is peeking through and creating a smooth edge. And then I did this for the other side as well as painting in the body and antennas of the butterfly. Then I left the ink to dry and moved on to the blue mortho. I painted in the body and antennas with ink as well as the outer edge of the wings, making sure to leave the orange dots peeking through and leaving gaps so that there are white dots on the forewing, which is the upper wing. And I repeated this for the other wing. 
I used my size 3 brush for painting the thin lines of the antennas, top of the wing, as well as the line separating the forewing and the hindwing, i.e. the upper and lower wing. Then using the same brush, I cleaned it and used a dark grey blue to paint the wing veins, having a reference photo in front of you to guide you through this step. And that is the blue morpho done. And then back to the green swallowtail. Then, once the ink is completely dry, I thoroughly wet the rest of the wing that we didn't do in the second layer. And then, with a small brush, add ink along the black edge we did previously. A little ink at a time. To prevent the ink from covering the entire wing, I cleaned and dried my Chinese brush to soak up excess water and ink. I did this so the ink only bled halfway up the wing, and I did the same for the other wing. Once this was completely dry, I painted a thick edge to neaten up the top of the wing and that is the green swallowtail done. Lastly, I neatened up the top of the edge of the Red Admiral and gently rubbed out pencil marks once all the paint and ink was completely dry. And that is all three butterflies done. Thank you so much for watching, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed for weekly Saturday videos where I paint flowers, animals, landscapes and other watercolour related videos. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.